This concert tour that we're doing for the first time for our Music of Soloists Hong Kong internationally is very exciting for us because we have come to Weimar, Germany, the home of the Bauhaus movement. And the Bauhaus movement, in fact, had a very significant impact on Hong Kong itself. For example, the City Hall Concert Hall, which we as Hong Kong musicians have always performed in and attended concerts in, was very much influenced by the Bauhaus movement itself, although it may not technically be a Bauhaus structure. So I thought it was very interesting for us to come to the home of Bauhaus in Weimar and come with a group of young Hong Kong musicians to perform together on stage with German artists. Uh, and we've come up with a very special program showing this connection. For example, we are featuring Paul Hindemith because at the same time as Bauhaus, he was a very important figure in what was called the New Objectivity, Die Neue Sachlichkeit movement, which shared a lot of similarities with Bauhaus. In addition, we also have other composers that I, I think were very important figures because they also wanted to create something new as a reaction against what was already around them. And I think in that spirit, it was a very good type of connection that they had with the Bauhaus movement itself. Another reason we are really thrilled to be here in Weimar is because Weimar itself played such an important role in the cultural history of Germany and Europe. Not only is it the home of Goethe and Schiller, but also musically the home of Franz Liszt. Bach was also here where two of his children were born and Richard Strauss was also here and numerous, numerous other important cultural figures from German history. And so I think for us, especially for young musicians to come to a place like this and just absorb the history that's all around them, whether it's just walking by a building where one of these figures lived or looking at the statues of these figures, you really get a sense of history and where you and the music and everything sort of fits in. And I think that's something that's very important for us as musicians because we don't only want to just play the music, but we really want to understand what it's about and then to share that with the public. Thank you. 
So Music of Soul is Hong Kong's first international tour here in Germany, in Weimar and Berlin, is a really landmark occasion for us as a young ensemble. Because Music of Society was founded on the premise of cross-cultural collaboration through music. And this is something that is really happening on this tour. We have these fantastic young Hong Kong musicians who are collaborating and performing side by side with German master musicians. And to do it in a place like Weimar and Berlin is really special. And I think it's an experience that we will all benefit greatly from. Oh, I think it's really cool. Since Bauhaus was you know, founded in Weimar, actually yesterday we performed at the Bauhaus University. And after the concert, they gave us like a tour of like a director's room that Bauhaus was actually founded there. So it's really cool performing in the city that, you know, was the place that was founded. I think it's such a fantastic opportunity for me because Weimar has such a rich history in classical music and it's in any kinds of arts. So um, Hong Kong is relatively more modern. It's definitely very eye-opening for me to be able to be part of this experience. It will change kind of my perception to music a lot. Impact-wise, I mean, we're as a group, we're like sharing music and we're making music, we're rehearsing here and we're sharing music to the audience. I think, I think musically has a big impact on sharing music here in Weimar. Guten Abend, ich darf Sie auch noch mal begrüßen im Namen der Bauhaus-Universität. Ich wurde ja schon vorgestellt, mein Name ist Peter Benz. Bauhaus in Hong Kong, uh, it's something that's very, actually, everywhere in Hong Kong, but it is something that we did not realize or think about very much. And so I thought it is a very interesting thing to bring that here. So there are some important buildings in Hong Kong this is the city hall, city hall, das Rathaus in Hong Kong, and um, certainly there's a lot of influence from the Bauhaus movements. And for us as musicians, this is very important because this was the first important concert hall in Hong Kong, and we grew up listening to music here and performing here since the 60s, and so. One day we found out, wait, this is actually, this architecture is actually very important also. And it's not just about music. It's actually about everything in culture, in art, 
in the environment. So this gave me the idea to do something with Bauhaus in Hong Kong. In addition, many other aspects of life in Hong Kong is influenced. This is a very important bread factory um, that we all grew up eating from. Um, and so this is, for us, again, it was just a bread factory. But then we find out it's actually a very beautiful and important uh, architecture. And this is, uh, this what you would say is more in the style of Bauhaus, or? Well, it's inspired <laughs> and influenced. Influenced, inspired. Ist natürlich eine Fabrik, nicht zum Wohnen, aber von der Stilistik und so passt es eigentlich ganz schön. Die Farbigkeit in der Hongkonger Architektur ist wesentlich äh, lebendiger, wesentlich großzügiger in der Farbigkeit, wesentlich bunter, teilweise richtig schrill ähm, und widerspricht damit doch sehr dem klassischen Bild, was man von, dem, ähm, von den weißen Kuben hat, die man sich unter dem Bauhaus vorstellt. Und diese Buntheit hat sich in Hongkong meiner Meinung nach wesentlich besser erhalten und fortgepflanzt als, ähm, als zum Beispiel hier in Europa. We started with Mendelssohn because actually Mendelssohn has an indirect connection with Hong Kong in that he was very good friends with the Queen Victoria. He visited her many times, they played music together. And in Hong Kong, actually we have everything, the Victoria Harbor, Victoria Peak, Victoria Park, everything is named after Victoria. So I thought it's a wonderful way to introduce the history behind Hong Kong before we get to the 20th century. Hindemith and Stravinsky were also in Weimar 100 years ago, so it's a very fitting uh, program in that respect. But also we chose uh, composers who were very important in finding new directions in their art. Stravinsky with neoclassicism, uh, Hindemith with the Neue Sachlichkeit, and then Piazzolla with the Nuevo Tango. Because I think, in a way, that's sort of the spirit of how Bauhaus came to be. There was an urge to find a new direction in the, an art form. And so I think tonight's program reflects that as well.